Hey guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I curl my hair. Highly requested video, bringing it back to the old days, back to the basics, OG video. So I decided to share my tips and tricks with you guys on how I curl my hair. So let's go ahead and get into it. And before you guys go any further in this video, make sure you press the subscribe button, you like the video, and you drop a comment. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Thank you for being loyal and just always tuning in. And making me feel special at the end of the day it really does honestly make like an impact in my life and it does affect me so i just want you guys to know that i'm very thankful for you guys and thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy this video we're live for this video you're gonna need a couple things you're gonna need a curler like this I use a one inch barrel. This is a Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. A comb, holding spray or perfume. I almost knocked out my, um, my little, what's that shit called? Wall plug in. I use Kenris. This is the one I use. I get it from Target. You're gonna need a couple hair clips like this. And you're gonna need like a paddle brush, like, like a weave brush, like a hair brush. For this video, I'm gonna be using my um, my wet brush just cause it's like nicer on the hair. I'm gonna brush through my whole head first. When I curl my hair, I always do a middle part regardless if I'm doing like a side or like half up, half down or whatever. I haven't put anything in my hair, like nothing. This is just dry no product everyone's always asking me like how do you know how to curl with like an actual curling iron i actually prefer a curling iron over a wand this is what my hair looks like naturally so i'm just gonna section my hair off i always start like right under my ear about this much hair and then i'm gonna clip up the rest like this and i'm just gonna grab like the first section i see you don't want to grab too big of pieces because if it's too thick it's not gonna curl correctly and we want it to curl correctly. I'm just gonna grab this piece, like this. This is the clamp, like this. It's brushed out, I have this piece. I'm gonna put the clamp over the hair and I'm just gonna twist it away from my face. So the curls are going away from your face. I don't really like curls that go towards my face. I like them to go away. I'm gonna pull this on the other end like that. I'm gonna start twisting it because you want all of this that's at the end of your curler to go inside the curler because you want your end to be curled. So I'm just gonna slightly like let this go, keep twisting it, slightly let it go so it could just all fit in there. But the reason why you keep curling it around is so that it has that tension that way it doesn't just slip out. I'm gonna show you the way it could possibly slip out on the next curl. I'm gonna keep twisting it up. You can go as far up as you would like for the curls. Me, personally, it just depends on like what area the curl is at. I'm going to go all the way up right now just because I do want all that volume. I have a lot of layers in my hair, but that's because I like to curl my hair. I'm going to keep it in there for a couple seconds. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and release it. Hold the curl in my hand. It's really hot. And then let it go. It looks like this. This is what your curl should look like. You don't have to spray after each curl. You can if you want to, but I feel like that just like wastes a lot of time. And I'm just gonna spray it and it's done. Usually I spray after like a whole section. So we're just gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna show you how you could possibly mess up the curl. You can mess it up by doing this, look. Oh, and then like you didn't get all the hair down here. So now it looks like this. That's what you don't want. Or you grab it with the clamp towards the back and then you go backwards and then you have this ugly crease right here in your hair. If I were to hold it longer, it would look like this. Look. It would look like that. You don't want that either. You're gonna glide it. I'm just gonna put the heat over that, that way it's not in my hair. And just keep rotating. Okay. 
and now the full curl is in the curler hold it upside down i don't know why i like to hold it upside down i feel like it just it keeps the volume more when i hold it upside down hold it for a second and then boom pretty curl and we're just gonna keep doing that all over my hair this is how i get my curls i don't brush them out to the end and sometimes i brush them out with my fingers depending um on like how tight or loose i want the curl i did have you guys send me some topics that y'all want me to talk about during my video some of these are like people's own personal ones that they wanted opinions on so we're not gonna judge anybody okay advice on a work crush he's shy but i know the feeling is mutual what should i do first of all i'm gonna ask you an honest question and it's gonna be kind of mean why would you want to date someone that's on the same level as you i'm not being mean but it's just like why would you want to potentially date someone you work with you know let's say don't mix business with pleasure and it's it's right you're not supposed to because let's say y'all don't let's say y'all mess with each other right and then y'all stop messing with each other then it's awkward to go to work what if he starts messing with another girl at your job you get jealous it's just it it's breeding too many too much like you're giving it you're giving the like situation space to create problems and i just feel like that's not smart and you shouldn't want to date someone you work with that's really annoying i would hate to come to work and see someone that i am involved with romantically next question again i wasn't being mean i'm just being logical we have to think logically these days how do you deal with people thinking they know your whole life just based off instagram tiktok social media i don't people have people are gonna have their own opinions in you regardless if they know you or not that's just how the world works unfortunately people create their own crazy ass ideas in their head of what you are what they think you are and it's not your job to convince them otherwise people who 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 mess with you like fuck with you, whatever i don't want to curse they're going to do that on their own you don't have to convince anyone of anything and you don't have to deal with that like at the end of the day you trying to prove yourself to somebody or a group of people it's only going to show that you care about what others think of you and at the end of the day you should want to be your own authentic self even though i'm not a big influencer i don't have thousands of hundreds of thousands of followers and stuff i've just i've been on social media for so long and i feel like i've also dealt with the hate and the love i mean i can't imagine what it's like at an accelerated rate but you have to have thick skin when it comes to it too because people are gonna people are gonna be mean it doesn't matter how nice you are in person or how good of a friend you are all that shit does not matter the only thing that should matter to you is the people who are around you and who love you I cater to a man i feel like you should only cater to a man if he's catering to you i feel like catering to a man is relationship things and i just feel like if you're if it's not understood between you two what you guys are if he's not catering to you you should not cater to him you are the prize make him work for you oh wow <laughs> how to move on from a situation ship who is a thought but we have the best chemistry um you would have to just ignore him like at the end of the day you have to think what's best for you do you want someone who keeps hurting you and is messing with multiple women on purpose you said he's a thought so i'm only going off what you say i just feel like there's someone out there for you that will give you exactly what you want and if he doesn't want to give you what you want then you need to cut ties and you need to block him on everything you need to move on girl yeah um you'll know if a guy is really into you based on the little things that he does for you the detail the things that he remembers if he does things you don't and do and don't really like like it's it's the little things honestly to me and you could tell when a man is like smitten by a woman and just into her their whole energy changes he will do anything to make you happy top three lip combos ever you're so pretty well thank you sarah my number one lip combo would be the one i'm wearing right now and that's gonna be cork lip liner with fortune cookie by nyx as a lip gloss my other lip combos i really don't feel like i have another lip combo i feel like if anything i use like a darker lip liner but i don't feel like i really have a lot of lip combinations sometimes i do clear clear with some liner but this is my go-to and i love it i'm not changing it up anytime soon 
tips for a nice glowy skin i would say moisturize Moisturi moisturization is key to having glowy skin taking care of your skin a lot of face masks overnight face masks probably would help a good facial every now and then exfoliating once a week like just doing things to feed the skin oh if you really want glowy skin if you get a dermaplan facial that will make you look super glowy I'm just gonna finish curling the rest of my hair like the same way and I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna come back when I'm finishing up the second side right here and then we can finish the rest of these questions. This is what the curls look like right now. We haven't brushed them out yet or anything. Just remember, curl away from the face on each side of your face and then after you finish each section, hairspray it down. I'll be right back. Alexa, pause the music. Um, so I curled my hair. I got a little carried away um, at the end. I was on live. But anyways, the top pieces are a lot shorter than the rest. So I just curl like this. I'm going to show you guys how I brush everything out and stuff. I just want to make sure my front pieces are really voluminous. You guys, why are people on TikTok so, like, aggressive? Like, oh my god. I'm just fixing, doing touch-ups right here. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. It does not make any sense. I already sprayed all my curls. I'm just gonna show you guys how I brush them out. So, you want to make sure your middle part is in a middle part. Well, actually, I'm not too much worried about the middle part. They're gonna feel a little crunchy, and that's fine. And you start at the bottom, you just brush them out. I feel like my wet brush helps not like break my hair off. And voluminous, other side. Y'all, I was on TikTok Live. I have 5,000 people in my life, which is crazy. So this is how your hair should look, just like this, just like really, real pretty like curls. You don't have to do a middle part, you could even do a side. Like me, I like doing like the white girl look and like letting it loose, putting it behind my ear. I love my hair like this. That's why whenever I curl it and I do the middle part, if we were to not have done the middle part, it wouldn't be like voluminous like this because the curls are all going away from the face and then when you flip it over, it just gives it more volume. It just makes it look better. And you can even do like, I was this, this is the side I usually like part my hair on. You know, like this. However you want to do it, you could even do the middle part. The middle part would eat as well. Let me just brush. I'm going to spray this down a little bit in the back just so it's not so big. makes it look more real which I've like really been into lately but yeah this is my finished curling look if I want to race tomorrow I could but when I'm going somewhere I kind of like them to be fresh so I always like freshen them up and stuff but yeah this is my hair I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys I feel like I want to like get back to like the basics with the girls I want to like tap back in with the girlies you know I want to bring back the OG videos like 
what you guys really like came here for type thing so yeah i'm just that's just how i feel right now <sighs> Well, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more ideas or any more videos you guys want me to do, please drop it in the comments below. Um, until next time, I'll see you girlies again.